spontaneous mutations. Mutations that occur without a known cause are called spontaneous mutations. They may be truly spontaneous, resulting from an inherent low level of metabolic errors, that is, mistakes during DNA replication, or they may actually be caused by mutagenic agents present in the environment. Watson and Crick proposed a mechanism to explain spontaneous mutation. They point out that the structure of the bases in DNA is not stable. Hydrogen atoms can move from one position in a purine base or pyrimidine base to another position, for example, from an amino group to a ring nitrogen. Such chemical fluctuations are called tautomeric shift. That is, the change in the position of hydrogen atom from one position to another is the tautomeric shift. Although tautomeric shifts are rare, they may be considerable importance in DNA metabolism since some can alter the pair potential of the bases. That is, usually the adenine pairs with thiamine and guanine pairs with cytosine. But these shifts may cause the change in the base pairing of these purines. The more stable keto forms are thiamine and guanine and the amino forms are adenine and cytosine. They frequently undergo tautomeric shifts to less stable enol form and amino form respectively. The bases would be expected to exist in their less stable tautomeric forms for only very short periods of time. However, if a base existed in the rare form at the moment and it was being replicated or being incorporated into a nascent DNA chain, a mutation result. When the bases are present in their rare amino or in all states, they can form adenine, cytosine and guanine, thiamine base pairs. Therefore, this is a peculiarity of the change in the structure of the purines. It may result in the change in the base pairing also. The next effect of such an event and subsequent replication prepared to segregate the mismatched base pair is an AT to GC base pair substitution. Therefore, after the replication first or second time it will get changed into a substitution mutation that is in the place of AT a GC base pair may get substituted although this is still a great deal to be learned about the causes molecular mechanisms and frequencies of various types of spontaneous mutation the three factors appear to be the accuracy of the DNA replication machinery, the efficiency of the numerous mechanisms that have evolved for the repair of damaged DNA, the degree of exposure to mutagenic agents present in the environment. Therefore, all this influences the type of mutations. Next is about some human diseases which are caused by spontaneous mutations. Many common human diseases often devastating in the effects are due to mutations in single genes. Genetic diseases arise by spontaneous mutations in germ cells which are transmitted to future generations. For example, sickle cell anemia which affects 1 in 500 individuals of African descent is caused by a single missense mutation at codon 6 of the beta globin gene. As a result of this mutation, the glutamic acid at position 6 in the normal protein is changed to a valine in the mutant protein. This alteration has a profound effect on hemoglobin, the oxygen carrier protein of erythrocytes which consists of 2 alpha globin and 2 beta globin subunits. Then this spontaneous mutation can also cause changes in the somatic cells or non-germline body cells which may also result in certain human diseases including retinoblastoma which is associated with retinal tumors in children. The hereditary form of retinoblastoma for example results from a germline mutation in one RB allele and a second somatically occurring mutation in the other RB allele. When an RB heterogeneous retinal cell undergoes somatic mutation, it is left with no normal allele. As a result, the cell proliferates 
in an uncontrolled manner, giving rise to a retinal tumor. It is a cancer-like situation. Therefore, the spontaneous mutations causes different types of diseases in humans.